Hello and welcome back to the dungeon manual. Today we are doing an example encounter again. And this time it's the second subterranean level of the desert temple. And I call that example encounter ooze. As you know, I love oozes and this time ooze in. First, as always, the group level of this map is level 7 to 10. So it's a mid-tier map for a little more experienced adventurers. The light conditions are dark. There are no lights, nothing. That makes it harder to survive. The temperature is I would say around about 20 degrees Celsius. It's not in a burning desert sun and it's very deep underground. So I would say that's suitable, but you can make it even a bit colder. For the humidity, we have two different humidities. One is for this staircase here. It has a humidity around about 30% bit more than in the temple itself and after this door there's very thick air with the humidity about 80% then I've made it a bit easier for me so the monsters in this example encounter are all on the map itself because they are big ones or here those two here are three and here are the other seven. Those are rust monsters and the staircase here. You have three. If you don't have metal on you, you can just pass on. They won't attack you. What with metal? A well-suited paladin, for example. They will attack him. Then as you come inside here, here are very small corridors. Here's a small room with two gray oozes inside and one treasure. I have the treasures listed here. And one trap too, that's here. That's a sarcophagus and you can discover the trap with an perception check of DC 20 and when you activate the trap that's just by touching the sarcophagus they have to make a dexterity saving throw with a DC 25 or they get the group level times D4 piercing damage if they succeed the Dexterity saving throw, only half. Then here, two gray oozes in this room and the first treasure. What's the first treasure? Two black pearls worth 500 gold each and the group level times 100 gold are in the treasure pile and also a shield plus two. My idea is the adventurers will get some gear in this dungeon because oozes will destroy some gear and why not that's a perfect dungeon for changing the normal items to magical ones here i've got another hint what i want to have the treasure look like so here are piles here are two chests two crates another chest so that's for me a hint how I how do I want to describe the treasure the second treasure is here in this small room with another two gray oozes and it's seven jade gemstones worth 100 gold each and group level times 200 gold 
and also a weapon plus two. You as dungeon master have to decide which kind of weapon should that be. Do you want to, to help your characters with role playing or do you want to just throw a big weapon inside? For my example, while I'm playing dwarves, I like to have a hammer or an axe in the hand. I don't like to play a dwarf with a sword, for example. And if my dungeon master knows that as a player character, then he can uh, decide, does he want to give me a hammer or an axe? Or does he want to bully me a bit and give me a sword, for example? For role-playing purposes, that's a kind of bullying the dungeon master can do. Then the next room is this room with three grey oozes and two treasure piles. The first treasure pile has two fire opals, 1000 gold each, and a weapon plus one. The second pile here has one emerald worth a thousand gold and an armor plus one. Then we come to the heavy room, the heavy hitting room here. That's the room which is deciding which level this group should be. Level seven is the absolute minimum level the group should have. For this encounter, if you play this encounter right that way, because that's an Elder Oblex. And for level six group, it's deadly, absolutely deadly. Level seven can maybe handle it, but I would suggest that the group should have a level of at least eight. But the fight is worth something because you have here two treasures and those are both treasure chests. The first one is an elven chain. An elven chain is a chain shirt plus one and you're proficient even if the character is not proficient with medium armor. And the second treasure chest is a dwarven plate. That's a plate plus two and if you're moved by an action, a spell or something like that, you're moved 10 feet less. And then the second big room, inside there is an elder black pudding and an orca jelly and two treasure crates. And this crate you will find four potion of superior healing. And in this crate, you will find 20 times ammunition plus two, plus one potion of hill giant strength. Maybe you need that later, maybe not. And then you go outside this door, you can go left or right, or more or less straight. And there is a gelatinous cube. Another ooze in this ooze dungeon. And after this room here, there's this chasm. And on the other side of the chasm is a golden chest. The room itself is empty. Only this chest is in this room. So your characters can try to get there and look what's in the chest. And the chest is really rewarding. I would suggest there is a carpet of flying inside. In a size 4 to 6 feet, which can hold up to 400 pounds, and you can fly with it 60 feet in a round. And then you got those stairs deeper, deeper underground, 
this murky water here. There I wasn't sure what I really want to do and if I'm at such a point where I'm not really sure in planning such an encounter then I write down options. First option is movement is quartered, not halved, quartered. Because it's one feet high murky water, a little bit slimy, not challenging, but just slowing down the characters. And the second option is if the characters go inside this water, it's slippery, they should do a dexterity saving throw. If they succeed, they can go on with half speed, for example. If they fail, they fall prone. And every time they want to stand up, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. I haven't decided about the DC yet, but I would suggest 15 to 20. I mean, the group is stronger now. They can make harder checks. Yeah, and this was all for today. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. I appreciate the support and see you the next time. Bye.